Hello yes. and welcome. This is the first semi-final. And what about this is going to be? Because we have two, uh, two major names of the sport colliding head on. This could well be the final at any major event, to be honest. Here she comes, Anna Zaninovic of Croatia, one of the athletes who is top of her sport at the 53 kilogram category, won a gold here in Baku last year, world ranked number two at 53 kilograms, and was a semi-finalist at the World Championships at 53. But she's fighting the undisputed world number one at this category. Gold medals picked up at Grand Prix all around the world in 2014. She won every one except for the Grand Prix finals. She was uh, third in the World Championships in 2013 and a semi a silver medal at the World Championships 2015, which was a shock, actually. Uh, the athlete that she lost to is uh, somebody that she'd never lost to before. So uh, that's going to be uh, interesting for the future to see uh, uh, that fight to come through. But Eva Calvo Gomez, undisputably the number one seed here and a fighter that you very much like, John. I do. I'm very impressed by it. I was also very impressed by the show of etiquette there from the young volunteer presenting the video replay card to the, the Spanish coaches there. And yeah, I'm very impressed by Eva Calvo Gomez. In terms of her technique, she's got everything. In terms of her timing, she's the best. Zaninovic is the one that can give her lots of trouble here. So this one promises to be a real tussle. However, the defensive skills of Eva Calvo Gomez well, she's been a difficult puzzle to crack. Calvo Gomez won her first round 13-1, second round 11-3. She dominated both, and already... There's the punch straight away there from yeah. Zaninovic, straight into the centre of the body protector. Taekwondo, the art of kicking and punching. Now, what a start from Zaninovic, and you see that she's got a game plan here against Calvo Gomez. This is one that she's ready for. And... There you go, there's exactly the same. So a Kyungo and a point the other way, and we're exactly tied. And these girls have come to fight here in this semi-final. Yeah, I'm just trying to process this this strategy. Is it something that Zaninovic can consistently do? Because she knows that Calvo Gomez likes the slow match. She likes to take the sting out of it. But Zaninovic well, could work there. Yeah, she's definitely playing a pressing game. Started off with real intent from the very first second of this round. She got her foot up, she's headhunting all the time. She can see that she's one of those who's quite an athletic fighter. She's happy to, to get the foot up. Oh. Though there from the Spaniard, not scoring. Very close, but both coach and athlete realizing that hit the head guard. If it doesn't register electronically, there's no point in playing the card. Absolutely. But that was a sweet shot there. They're not allowed to play the card except for a face shot. Which actually, I'm starting to enjoy that rule. I'm starting to think that you know, we, there has been no major issues with the electronic scoring system. I know there was a, a bit of a story about Jay Jones in the World Championships having a problem with her opponent's system not working, and Jay should have been scoring point after point and wasn't. But uh, typically, the electronic systems that are used in Taekwondo are very, very good indeed. And it's good that uh, they're trusted so well. This has got a high score written all over it, hasn't it? Very impressive little sneaky shot there on the way through from Calvo Gomez, that twisting kick to the body. And if it's not working, you've got to change things up, and she's done that a few times. Testament yeah. to Zaninovic, she's forced her to change stance, but forcing herself onto the scoreboard. Two points for Spain. Yeah, she does, uh, Calvo Gomez, a little nod of appreciation for, for Zaninovic. She knows she's just been through a good round of taekwondo fighting and this is one of the things with Calva gomez that she you know i think she's underrated for the fact that she can actually change her game so when she gets into a situation where she fights other people and i think we may have mentioned this a little bit before we certainly mentioned it before we came on air that when she fights jay jones she goes very defensive incredibly defensive here we're seeing that she's got all the shots i, I do I, I, I take the point and a lot of people do make that point but you can only defend if you're winning Otherwise, yeah. you're going to just, you know, do nothing. So the thing about Eva Calvo Gomez is that she gets ahead. So how do you get ahead? You've got the skill. 
Well, I remember, I remember seeing her in Suzhou, uh, China, and uh, against Jay Jones, and it was nil-nil into the third. Jade hit her with absolutely everything she had. It was one-way traffic. Calva Gomez covered up, yeah. and then, at the with like 20 seconds to go, Calva Gomez stuck her foot out, touched one of Jones's pads. She won the match one-nil, and it was. But, you know, the crowd were a little bit dumbstruck about it, but Calvin Gomez played the tactics, knew that that was the way she wanted to play, and she didn't even get ahead. She was just defensive from early on, trying to frustrate Jones. Let's see what she does here in the second round. Again, it's gone. That It's pretty much the same as we saw in the first. The Ninovich pressuring hard, but Calvin Gomez again just picks off on a counter-attack. Good punch, though, from Zaninovich. Doesn't register. Tony Thomas, the creation coach, happy with that one because that means she's in the right kicking distance to try and do something. Calvo Gomez tries with the back leg turning kick, well blocked. Both athletes have scored heavily so far here today. Ooh, that was so close to being a face touch. We may have seen a card there, but you know the athlete knows themselves whether they got contact, so Good push kick to the body there from Gomez. Just stamps her authority home there. Stretches a lead. This is good from Gomez because she's she's definitely not in a comfortable zone. Zaninovic has decided she's going to pressure. And the world number two at the 50 kilo cate 53 kilo category. Putting Calva Gomez under quite a lot of pressure here, but she's just just picking off odd points there and there. You know, she's very clinical, isn't she? She reminds me of Stephen Lopez, the legend in the sport, and I don't mean that in terms of the technique she uses. I mean in the difficulty that people have of breaking her down. And Lopez in his prime was so awkward and so complicated to try and get past. And Calvo Gomez has the physicality, has the control of the ring, and she is a nightmare to fight against. Yeah. And now you feel that Zaninovic just, just dropping a level here. She's obviously worked very hard. And now Calva Gomez is starting to step up. She got close with that one, though. Zaninovic just trying with the head shot. Yeah. That front leg shot. And Tony Thomas. We're going to have a card. Yeah. Well, she obviously feels that she got it. Let's have a look on the replay. Front leg chop. Well, for me, Calva Gomez blocks this one. No. She possibly got a bit of hair, but nothing on the face. And I don't. I think this one could well be rejected. Not sure why the crowd up. Well, the president has arrived to preside over proceedings here. President Azir Aliyev of Azerbaijan, a big fan of combat sports. And that certainly raised the temperature in the arena. Well, I'll tell you what, there's an Azeri fin uh, semi-final coming up shortly as well. Maybe that's why he's here. Yeah, maybe they're giving him a quick call. Get over. And he's likely to be. A, he's, well, he's absolutely. He's fighting really well. Well, he's been down in the, the wrestling hall all week, and that accepted there. Wow, I'm a bit surprised about that. I didn't, didn't see, look like it. Didn't see a contact there, but they must have seen an angle with a touch, and that really is going to be a big, make a big difference here now because that levels up the score. And Calva Gomez, who's been pretty much in control, quite ironically, it's when Zaninovic actually was taking a bit of a breather. She's obviously worked really hard for two rounds. She was just having a bit of a rest. Calvo Gomez came on the attack, and Zinovich on the counter-attack, did her. What, and that's what, basically, Zin, uh, Calvo Gomez does to everyone else. Makes them attack her and picks them off on the way in. And at yeah. the moment that Calvo Gomez smelled blood, she stepped forward. For me, I couldn't see the contact, but obviously they have the benefit of, of all the replays. Yeah. I think we may get a chance to look at it. That was the push kick from Calvo Gomez that scores. Here we this go. This is the chop kick. Steps in. And there must have been the, the slightest of touches here. Let's look. Yeah, it looked like as if it hit the nose on the way up rather than the way done. down. Yeah, you might be right. There. It only does need contact. That's the crazy thing. So if they had a camera that was bang on at 90 degrees where you could see and there was a slight ripple of the nose as the foot went past, that will count, and they've obviously had a really good look at some replay. Yeah, we're going to give credit to the referees there on that one. They got that yep. one right. <laughs> you don't say that very often, so uh, I think they'll take it. For all, it's two minutes to go, and this is a fascinating encounter. World number one at 57 kilo against the world number two at 53 kilo. Even this 57 kilo major semi-final here at the European Games. 
Zinanovic again just stepping up the pace a little bit. She's Calva Gomez will just put in a clinch. Zinanovic putting in a lot of effort here. Trying to close down that space on Calvo Gomez. Calva Gomez is just looks a little bit. Yeah, she's one down now, and she just looks as if she's lacking a little bit of energy, but this is Gomez's style, to be honest. Absolutely, she subdues the opponent and tries to put the pressure on. Let's see what Zaninovic can do here to protect this. Almost scoring the headshot there. Good shot on the way through. A minute left in this one. It's a real close battle. Kyung goes hanging over both fighters. Yes. This next minute is going to determine this where this goes. It is absolutely in the balance. Zaninovic has that one point advantage. Mama Gomez, very aware she has some real attacking abilities. Both athletes have scored 24 points in their two rounds to get here. They know how to score at will. And Calva Gomez is going to have to step it up a little bit shortly. She's in trouble here, and there's a bit of a grimace towards her coach. She is not in her comfort zone head at all. Headshot from Zaninovic. It looked as if it hits off the top of the head guard. But it would have to hit off the face. Obviously, the electronic scoring system here. And let's have a look. Tony Thomas is saying exactly that. Pushing. Yeah. He's having to be very specific. He's asking for three points for his fighter. He can't ask for two things with one card. <laughs> it's not a two for one. Yeah. Well, he's asking for pushing. He can't ask for the headshot. And that looked like a headshot, to be honest. But it, it was the lightest. But that undoubtedly touched the head. Touched the head guard. The head guard has electronic sensors inside it. If it doesn't score, no one can add the point. It has to hit the face. Yeah. So I think Tony Thomas played the card there and then thought, oh, I better ask for something else. A yeah. little bit of confusion. Let's see what the pronouncement is. Well, quite interesting that we've just seen uh, three points given for the tiniest of flicks off the nose. <laughs> and rejected. Reject rejected, and yeah, I, I think you're absolutely right there, John. I think he actually, his, his instinct was to get the card out, but actually then realized he's not allowed to do that. There wasn't a push or anything. So we're five all. Calva Gomez has a yellow card against her name. So one more Kyung Ho against her and she could be in trouble. We may go sudden death. Just thinking that is an attempted shot to the head there, well blocked by Zaninovic. Punch though from the Croatian. And she That's gets it. Seal it. Unbelievable, what a punch, and Calva Gomez now in panic mode, and another point goes towards Croatia. Calva Gomez is just querying what that was for, and there's a card coming here. Well, the punch clearly scored from the Croatian. Let's see what Jesus Lopez is trying to ask for here. Right, point Four point points for a reverse turning kick is what he's asking for for this spin move there. Did it hit the face hit of the, face. the Croatian? I'm not sure. We need a different Let's angle. Let's have a look here. Here we go. Spin and whoa. Oh. Well, that that's was a very, shoulder. very close. It was so close, but then the, the last one was close as well. Well, that's the margins for Taekwondo. <laughs> it's a fraction. It's literally millimeters in this. And this is going to be the difference between... Well, this is a four-point shot, Adrian, if it lands. The decision here decides the match. There's, lit, there's, what, three seconds on the clock? This decision will decide... Yeah, you're looking at the replay. That looks as if it hits the shoulder. The Spanish coat's clapping as if it did hit the head, but I think it's the shoulder on the replay. I'm going to say it hits the face. Just to be different no. and annoying and well, awkward. But I think there was a little flick on the face on the way through. You can tell by the reaction of the fighter, they lean their head back. Here, yeah, there's a touch in the face there for me. There's, there's a cheer, there's definitely some influencing trying to go on. Is it going to be accepted? Is it green? It's rejected! Yes, make sure you get the right card up because that... <laughs> <laughs> well, five seconds to go and Ava Calva Gomez and Zaninovic is going to step out time and time again. What an incredible result for Zaninovic of Croatia. She has just completely shocked the world number one and the outstanding favourite in this competition, Eva Calvo Gomez. And that's her first victory over the Spaniard. What a result, fighting outside her weight. Unbelievable. That really is a major shock.
Calva Gomez, who's been purring away. She's scored 24 points against four in her previous two rounds. And it's Zaninovic who progresses through to the final with about seven, five win. Well, it was the punch that changed the momentum of the match for Zaninovic. Given due credit to her coach, Tony Thomas, same way as her sister, Lucia, who took the bronze.